All right, everyone. We're back with the juicy hot topics. Hey, we got a we got a couple of uh, some we, got, we, got, we, got, we got a strange one to start. A sizzler, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Howard, you know, an interesting story. Um, he had a little thing going with Mary Carey. <laughs> a little bit of what we shall call a crazy adult actress slash. Candidate for governor. I love it out in California. Oh, yeah. you know? Free spirit it is. You can be whatever you want. The Terminator. The Terminator is your governor. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, anyway, Carrie, Mary Carrie, she was dating uh, Chris Kirkpatrick from Bye 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 <laughs> in Sync. Yeah. And Dwight didn't really care for that much, obviously. No, no, no. But let's start with Dwight. <sighs> Apparently, you know, Mary said Dwight was a cool guy for a month, we talked on the phone, and he was always trying to give me praise to get me out of porn <laughs> and give me Bible verses. Oh, he's a Bible boy. I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, who knew? <laughs> Bible verses to read. I mean, how did Dwight try to, try to like, swoon Mary, do you think? What do you think he, what do you think he did? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it went a little something like this, man. Let us pray, uh, <laughs> Heavenly Father, uh, please give Marat Carey uh, the strength uh, to abandon the servant of evil. <laughs> May the Lord hear our prayer. Are we oh, referring to the, great, the servant of evil? <laughs> uh, would that be a little... Chicka boom boom, gone business. Yo, chicka chicka boom boom, baby. I mean, you know, and the best the best part is, I guess that I guess that um, one night <coughs> she was at the kid from Insync's house, and, and 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 Dwight, you know, Superman had to call. Her. You know, he kept calling and calling and calling because he because he knew she was with Insync boy, and uh, eventually at three in the morning. In sync boys like stop, don't answer his calls anymore, blah blah. And and Dwight called, who knows, you know, he maybe gave her an our father or two or a couple of Hail Marys. Who knows what he did? Back to contrition. Yeah. But he showed up physically at the house. That's always a good move, right? That's a good move, yeah. yeah that's always <laughs> nice. Yeah. And Chris Kirkpatrick's about four foot nothing. <laughs> Dwight Howard's, you know, busting out of his friggin' trousers. Yeah, I mean <laughs> well, well, well that's that about to happen. <laughs> so apparently she grabs him, you know, he comes to the house, she takes him inside, and she pulls him in the bathroom and tells him he needs to go home. Why this went down in the bathroom, maybe it was a place to hide from. How, how do you get in the house, though? From into, yeah. Nice move, letting him into yeah. the other guy's Nothing house. Nothing good happens after midnight, I guess. So. <laughs> but, but, but apparently, you know, at, at this juncture, <laughs> God had failed young Dwight, because out came the trousers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, zip, you know, God... Ain't working for me. Let me just show her the 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 man. I guess the lesson here is don't get caught with your pants down, you know. Unfortunately, uh, the white could not answer his own prayers <laughs> and abandon the suffering of evil. So, so I guess that you no, know, now the girl's saying, you know, not that she's the most trustworthy of sources, right? but uh, she's saying she has it all filed, all his instant messages, and she's got it. She's putting it down in a book. She's got a lot of evidence. I've got. And evidence file. So oh. Dwight, you know, Dwight, put away a little trust fund for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Talk to Ricky. <laughs> yeah, talk to AKA Ricky. Steve Williams, right? Yeah, I better learn your lesson. Talk that. to Ricky. He knows about this. Right? He's got trust funds all over the place right? <laughs> to handle uh, a little strife here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then we got that. What did you say today that um, Sammy Sosa's agent called you? Yeah, yeah. Sammy's yeah. gonna lay off that face <laughs> I guess, you know. Uh, Wait a minute, I thought it was rejuvenation. <laughs> yeah, he, well, he looks like MJ, I think, uh, you know, before uh, everything People went down. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the before and after shot is just not doing you any justice there, you know. So you gotta, Sammy, you, you better take care of that. Sammy, I mean, <laughs> what was that thing you did with Maguire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sammy. So many people were, com were, were like commenting about the picture that I put yeah. up of him. Just look it up. They were that saying that I, they're like, how'd you doctors? I'm like, I didn't doctor yeah. anything. It's his face. You posted it. Oh, that's it. Famous. You know, I, I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. No, oh, he's like. He looks like a nomad for pressure. It was awful. But then we had, uh, th you know, so Sammy, you know, we got that information. That was some, that was some bad cream. 
Yeah, me too. Via Sammy's agent. I guess it worked. Too, it looked worked too well. Did it come from Victor Conte? Victor Conte. <laughs> Somebody. It's been working too well. So he's trying to reverse cousin. it. He's trying to reverse it. That's the last I heard. Yeah. When, when, I, when I was in dub, you blame a cousin. <laughs> Ask Abel. You just blame a cousin. Uh, you some some tanning, random cousin. Tanning cream. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Chuck recommended. So. My cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. It's a little blown on the <laughs> The last one we have, the last one we have tonight is uh, it's kind of a cool story. It's not really we're gonna lay off ripping, uh, we're gonna lay off ripping people, but we got um, <clears throat> Steve Aponovicius. Oh yeah, um, he's, tough he's, name, tough name. It is, and I just got it. I just got yeah. it right. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I like you nailed it. You nailed it, man. Been working on Smitty, all the Smitty didn't care for that, but he's, he's back there. Like, yeah, you think you get everything? Yeah. Get yeah. Former walk-on, just just a just a great story. That's a great part of the story. Uh, he played football and soccer. Well, he was supposed to be excuse me, baseball, and soccer. Hell of a soccer player. Though. Yeah, soccer and baseball. I'm sorry. And then you know he's the, he's a fan in the you know he's wearing his super fan T-shirt. You know, and then it's a great story. Yeah, well, and he ends up with the number 83 on the you know BC varsity team. It's but the, great. But the, but the but the main gist of it all is that he he now he was he 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 was practicing. He's like, I you know, and they were really thin at kicker back in 06 BC. And he was practicing kicking, blah, blah, blah and somebody saw him. He from the staff. He got spotted by a graduate assistant. Though. Yes, graduate he did. assistant spotted him, and the rest is history. He is He's now, the gist of bringing him up was, you know, it's really a cool story. He is now the all time leading scorer yes. at BC Two hundred sixty-seven points. That's cool. That's he beat the, uh, Brian Lowe back in 89. Oh, it's incredible. Think of, think of that to tell you. Tell yeah, your kids and, he, and he came on, you know, he replaced uh, Ryan Onlinger as the, uh, he got suspended, he was in a bar fight, yeah. I guess. I remember he the, stepped the game in. against, I think it was West Virginia. He came Virginia in, Tech. Virginia Tech. Yes. He came in and kicked that big field. Yeah. Watched 36 he field goals. first game. Yeah. He put he him on 10-3. Yeah. It was a huge, I mean, he put him on the map. And I was so, like, who is this guy? And then he just became a cult hero. Yeah, yeah. and he got a scholarship out of the deal. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Upon you know, oh, yeah. To go. Oh, yeah. That's a tough name. No, so don't, don't say, you know, these people out there say, you know, that second segment, those guys, you know, those those bastards just tee off on people. I mean, it's, Jesus, what skeletons they got in their closet? You know what? I just did a nice That's story. Awesome. We did a nice, oh, yeah. honorable nice story for you people. On Stevie. Stevie. It's a nice story. Stevie. It's a good story. Whatever his name is. You know, at the end of the day, he's a goddamn kicker. <laughs> a little too much. Who knows where he's gonna end up? But hey, that's no, nice. it is a great yeah. story. A great story. Since I mean, what was '89? Yeah, was the was the Brian last. Lowe. He, he, he held the record since '82. So oh, yeah. that's unbelievable. It's yeah. usually yeah. a kicker who holds those. Yeah, records. exactly, exactly. Because they 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 yeah, yeah, he's a yeah, yeah, senior. You know, but that's that's great. Hey. That yeah, great it's a cool story. story. So that'll wrap it this week. Probably next week we want to do a little bit of a little um, hot stove. Um, Absolutely. Baseball. The yeah. winter meeting. The GM meeting should be. Wrapping up, we should have some stuff. Right. Varitek tonight just just did accept that that uh, he took he triggered his three yeah, million took his dollar option. Off. He took his off. So that's that's good. Um, Scott Boris is blowing smoke up people's ass. So that's yeah, that's that's a normal GM yeah, yeah, meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Occurrence, <laughs> shall we say? Scotty B has like yeah. Matt Holiday is an extra bird. Yeah, for Matt Damon. twenty million a year. We'll stop talking then. Yeah. Right? Johnny Damon deserves twenty eight million. Yeah, he's a Derek Jeter, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Strap him up. Get ready for Scotty B. Manny just took his twenty million dollar option, so yeah, that's a no brainer for him, right? Come on, Manny. Uh, <laughs> no brainer, Manny. Come on, come on. So um, that's um, that's basically that. I'll wrap it next week. Like I said, hot stove, and we'll have some more juicy ones for you. Until um, then, thanks to Steve Marshall right here, Tommy Slats, the the editor in chief, my <laughs> stepson. I'm Chuck Hanf. Say, stay thirsty, my friends. Yeah, I should close. I'm going to talk to you.